there, you're back here on another week of highlights and happenings on Kochi Mosaic. This week, it's first off a sentimental visit to a market that has heartbreak on for sale. Then in our On the Mic, it's a chat with a young man passionate about preserving and promoting the ancient tea of Vietnam. And in the later part of Kochi Mosaic, we'll get a chance to meet the international members of Hanoi Voices Choir. All that and more in Kochi Mosaic. Heartache for sale at Heartbreak Market. 22-year-old winner of Tea Masters Cup and love for ancient tea. And later on, a rendezvous with the Hanoi Voices Choir. Established in 2016, Hanoi Voices Choir is an international choir here in the capital city featuring many expats. The choir has more than 20 members under the lead of conductor Nung Guang Ving. The choir aims at becoming a professional one. For nearly two years now, the choir has participated in many concerts and shows featuring the combination of different countries, including Vietnam. We'll get a chance now to find out more about this choir in this week's edition of Connecting Cultures. Once a week, members of the Hanoi Voices Choir meet for a rehearsal. The name Hanoi might cause people to think it's a choir for locals, but it is actually an international choir with people from many countries, most of whom are experts living here in Hanoi. Hanoi Voices Choir was established in uh, 2016. It was the love uh, of the experts uh, who are living in Vietnam uh, to music. They, they were experienced to sing in a lot of genres of music. Voices uh, reminds people about uh, the voice, the human voice. We sing, we extol the combination, we extol the, the great things in Hanoi. So this is Hanoi Voices. Katja Sailor has been a member of Hanoi Voices Choir for over a year. Despite having sung in a German-Chinese choir before joining Hanoi Voices, this Vietnamese international choir still offers a different experience. Because in, in China it was a German-Chinese choir, so it was done bilingually in Chinese and in German, and, the, and we only did um, classical music. Uh, we performed mainly in, in embassies and in schools. Um, and in Vietnam, the choir is more international, so we have members from many different countries. Um, and we have more different, a different choice of music. We also sing some Vietnamese music or some Western Vietnamese fusion music and some pop songs and some, some classical. So it's a, it's a very interesting mix of music. I try to um, put on uh, different arrangements for the same melodies to make different variations, uh, to make them sound interesting but different from, from others. Um, okay, so uh, then I, I try to combine voices and instrumental music. I try to combine Western uh, music with Vietnamese traditional instruments. I want to prove that music has no borders. Uh, music will bring people together. Rather than forming an amateur group, conductor Dong Quang Vinh wanted to have a professional choir. Members of Hanoi Voice Choir all have knowledge or education in music and are carefully selected through an audition process. Uh, it's, for me, it's very demanding. I, in Switzerland, I was in a small choir that was not so um, ambitious as this choir, so I have to practice a lot to um, fulfill the, the expectations of our conductor. All the people who join, they should go through some uh, audition. So you must be able to read music, you must be able to keep a certain tone, you must know the rhythms, how to read that and how to produce that. And you have, are supposed to learn also at home. Otherwise it would be impossible to have so many different pieces of music performed in such a relatively short time. Hanoi Voices Choir has performed on stages both big and small, such as Sing for Joy 2017, Spring Gala and many other concerts and programs, bringing special emotions to both the audience and the singers themselves. We 
sang that song on TV um, for a hundred years of Russian Revolution show. And then um, afterwards, some people, some neighbors and some colleagues came to me and said, oh, I watched you on TV and we were so moved that you sang a Vietnamese song and they were almost crying and they were very touched that foreigners were singing in Vietnamese. So that was a very special experience for me. For me, uh, I was an, uh, a student at the university in the time of the uh, American war in Vietnam. And not only in America, but also in Europe, where I'm from, there came a lot of protest from the public about uh, this war. We, uh, as, as students, we did not uh, think that this is a right war. I have been uh, active in, uh, in marches, anti-Vietnam anti War marches, as we called them at the time. So when uh, Many, many years later, I was invited to uh, come to Vietnam and work here. So yeah, these emotions are surely with me also when I sing these songs. Hanoi Voices Choir is a place for people from around the world to share their love of song. And through the group's many activities, they have brought new meaning to local music. also wrapped up this edition of Coach Mose. If you would like to provide any feedback or comment on anything you've seen here on our show, please feel free to write to us at VTV International at VTV.vn. You can also log on for more of our programs on VTV4.vn or our YouTube channel at VTV4Go. Thank you very much for tuning in and we'll see you more next week here on Coach Mose. Goodbye for now.